everyone, this is Daniel Scranton, and I'm going to channel the Arcturian Council. Because you have a willingness to endure so much in the name of your survival. And we know that if you could take that same approach to your emotions and your spirituality, you could grow exponentially as individuals and as a collective. Wanting to survive is built in. You don't have to be convinced 
that it is a good idea for you to eat, hydrate, clothe yourselves, put a roof over your heads, and so on. What you need is to have that awakening instinct turned on within you so that you all have the desire to grow spiritually. And when that desire eclipses the desire to just survive, you are going to see massive changes within individuals. who you had previously given up on. Activating the instinct for awakening is something that we and our colleagues here in the non-physical are working on right now. We are working with your higher selves and we are working with ETs and physical bodies to determine the best way to activate this instinct that will help others in recognizing that they are a spirit and that they are expanding as that spirit. And when enough people on your world truly want to experience spiritual evolution, you are going to feel the tidal wave of energies coming in. Because now, your fellow humans who had been asleep will be opening up to the energies that you and others like you are so familiar with receiving. You are going to benefit so much from the rest of humanity deciding to put their spirituality first and you are going to have more than enough to give your fellow humans because they will still need your help. 
they will still need to know how to deal with their awakening experiences. They will need to know how to process an emotion, how to raise their vibration, and how to experience oneness. You will step up because you have been training your whole lives. And even waiting for this moment. A moment when you will no longer be the weird one at the dinner table. You will no longer be the outcast or the black sheep in your family. You will be the one that everyone turns to because they will know that you have already gone through what they are experiencing and that you know how to help. This glorious time is coming there on planet Earth and we just wanted to let you know that we are doing our part. We are working on the awakening instinct switch. And we have enjoyed connecting with you. <laughs> it's it's not usually this windy. <laughs> I felt it as I was channeling, and I was like, "Oh no! Did it uh, did it come unhinged up there <laughs> and fall?" Calling out, you would never let that happen, would you? No, my assistant. <laughs> she got into a fight earlier. And I had to break it up. I find that these these neighborhood cats, when they come in, if you just yell really loud, they tend to get the point and run. I mean, this one's like fighting her off or him off. And that's not working. But I come in, you know, in my underwear, <laughs> all threatening, <laughs> and start screaming. And the cat just runs off. Um, but she's okay. She's okay. I don't see any scratches or any blood or anything like that. She's going to be fine. Tough little cookie, right? Defending that food bowl. <laughs> we have a cat door. So the other cats can smell the food and come in and say, hey, I want some of this. And the cat door is always open. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. I love you. I hope you had a great weekend. Uh, I sure did. We had so much fun today and um, took Talia on a hike and it was raining again, so not the greatest hiking weather, but she was also today again so much fun in the car. And um, I'm trying to think of a Talia, a good Talia story. She's starting to get like these little two word phrases going, which is great. Um, this one, I think she says, and then, um, she also says, 
So she's getting like she's getting to the point where she's soon going to be forming sentences, and um, it's so much fun. I was feeding her tonight, sitting right here feeding her, and she did not want to eat the soup that we had put out for her. And then I tried giving her a banana, and she just stuck the banana in the really thick soup and was like taking her spoon. It was like Richard Dreyfus in Third Close Encounters, <laughs> the third kind, you know, making his mashed potato. <laughs> mountain except she was doing it with spoon and um and the banana <laughs> and, the, and the soup and then finally got some bread um toasted bread that we had just we just picked up today my wife found this this gluten-free sprouted three seed bread and i think it's from a brand food to live I think it's the same company that makes those Ezekiel breads. Anyway, um, grabbed that today when we were out and put little pieces of it in the soup. And she finally, I had to like just take it and shove it in her mouth. But it was like she was so interested in what she was doing that that was enough of a distraction. Her own artistry. Uh, was enough of a distraction to get the food in her mouth. <laughs> yeah, so so we had a really good day today, all in all. And um, I have two things to announce here. If you're watching this, you may still have time to sign up for the beginner's group channeling class. It's all new. So even if you've taken one with me before, till I, I mean, call Andrew's on her back with the paws up. Um, you might also enjoy this one. And it's Monday, March 1st at noon Pacific time, 3 p.m. Eastern. Link down below or danielscranton.com slash learn. And then the mega course, which uh, somebody else signed up for today. Very excited about that. Uh, the mega course and channeling is um, starting on March 10th. It's going to go once a month for uh, nine nine total classes, but it spans eight months um, and uh, 18 hours. And that one starts March 10th. And there's a link below or danielscranton.com slash mega for that. So check them out. Take care of yourselves. I love you. Blessings. <laughs> I'm batting at my hands. Uh, I hope everybody's well in your world and um, that no cats intrude your living space tonight. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Bye.